today we run. Run, run, forest. I had to had to use that reference. So check it out. We can run. We can stop. Take a little bit of momentum when you stop. And then you can also run and punch. Bam. And um, this thing, like if I hit jump. I don't land on the I don't land on the um, platform, but if I hold up on the keyboard and then I hit jump, bam, he lands right on top of it. Sweet. The bug right there. Boop, 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 boop. So that's it. That's what we're doing. We're running. Somebody had um <clears throat> me for uh they emailed me on how to how to do a running tutorial. And I promised them that I would make a make a tutorial on that. So this is it. Um, first things first, uh, we have to add the running sprite. So I'm gonna actually just copy the walking sprite. I'm gonna call it SPR Alex Run, and I'm gonna go to Edit Sprite, and then I'm going to here and I already have the little running sprite these are on the internet they're easy to get if you don't have them um, and also I'm gonna put a link at the bottom to my patreon page where you can grab all these images I have them there ready to download so let me just check to make sure that this aligns correctly and it does okay cool so that's that leave everything else the same hit okay so um, this is the theory of what we're gonna do. So we we're gonna have to create um, three variables. One to keep track of um, how many times we've pressed the right arrow key, and also another variable to track how many times we've hit the left arrow key. So after we hit um, a direction twice in a row within a certain time limit, we're gonna go into the um, run state. So we're gonna need a variable to track right, to track left, and then we're gonna need another variable which is kind of like a, like a, a, a delay or, or like that, a time limit. So what I mean is like, um, if you don't hit the right arrow key, for example, two times in a row within a certain time limit, you do not go into the um, into the run state. You just continue to walk. So these are the three variables that we need to create a, a double tap running, like that old school um, tap twice to the right to run, twice to the left to run left. So let's come back over here. And after adding our sprite, we are going to go to our scripts, go to the get sprites um, script and so what I'm doing here is that I'm adding the running animation to our our array of sprites here and what I'm doing here is pretty much what we're gonna be doing every single time we add a new animation a new move a new attack or whatever we're gonna step one uh, load the sprite step two add the sprite to the list and here let me change this to run and over here is that to run and then we're going to do the same thing down here for the default case the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our little characters um, step event go to movement and we have to now add a state for our running. So we added our animation, we added that animation to the list, and now we have to define what run means. So we're adding a case to do that. There's there. I'm gonna leave that um, blank for now, but I'm gonna come back and add some more stuff to this later. Next, what I wanna do is um come down to my idle because we're going to be able to go into our run state from an idle stance or from a walking stance as well. So I'm going to come to idle and then I'm going to go to control. 
when I middle mouse click, that's just opening up my scripts or control, and most of the code is going to happen here. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's go down here. Input key left. So I am going to need to add another another key thing here. I'm going to call it um, input key left release because it's going to happen after we release the key. And then I'm going to create another one for the right. Put it under this here. And then I'm going to call that one right release. So once I have that, <clears throat> when I hit, let's see, when I release left, I want to increase my, um, um, increase the uh, left uh, counter, I guess, I'll call, it a, I'll call it a counter, it's a counter for the left. So left counter plus plus, it's a short way of adding one to uh, the left counter. And we're going to do the same thing for the right. So we're going to call this one right counter, increase it by one. So right now, if I release, if I hit the right key and I release it, it's just going to keep adding one. It's going to go up to infinity. So what we have to do is that once we release the button, there should be a, a timer that, that goes off. And if we don't hit uh, the left or the right button within that time frame, then the counter gets reset back to zero. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use alarm zero for my my running my running alarm. And I'm gonna call it um, run timer, I guess. Yeah, I call it run timer. And then same thing for the right, just like that. Okay. <clears throat> so now let's go to back over here. Your little character. Go to create. Let's add those variables. I'm gonna put them. Uh, put them right here. Call it run. We have left counter, we're going to initialize that to zero, right counter, start up at zero, and then uh, run timer equal room speed times, I'm going to say 0.25, I was messing around with this earlier and that seems to be a pretty good time. Okay, so I have that, now I have to add my new, uh, my new keys, my keystrokes, the release. Right release and left release. So I'm gonna open up my input object, and then come down here. I'm gonna copy this. I say left counter keyboard check release pk left, and copy that over here. So I'm probably not gonna finish this tutorial. In fact, I know I'm not going to finish it in one sitting, so I'm going to break this up into maybe two, maybe three videos. I'll try to keep it to just two, but anyways, so that's that. I just noticed that I wrote counter. <laughs> you don't want to write counter, you want to write release. Yeah. You guys saw me making that mistake and you didn't say anything. that, close that, close this, and let's go back here. Okay, next thing. So back here in our input script, let's come back to uh, left release. So now what we want to do here is um, if our left counter is greater than one, so in other words, two or above two. Um, we're going 
going to run. Okay. State equals run. And then we're also going to say that this should only occur if Here, if our state, so if we're idling, oops, or we are walking, then let's do all this stuff here. I'm not intent this just to make it neater. So if we're walking or we're idling um, and we hit left or right, then add um, to the counter. And if we hit the button uh, more than once, then we go into our run state. And then the alarm gets set so that it resets the, uh, the counter back to zero. So we're going to do all this again for, uh, for the right. I'm just going to cut and paste that. Then add these little brackets then here to keep it nice and neat. And here, if right counter is greater than one, then state equals run right. So this should put us in our run state. I'm going to test it out, see if it works. So obviously we're not done, but um, it should at least put us into the run state. Okay, so here I am, hitting right, not running. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm in my run state. So I'm stuck here because I haven't coded the exit. But here, let's try it again. So if I hit right, right, Oh, wait, wait, okay, you know what we forgot to do? Yeah. All right, so we forgot the gravy. Come back to your character. And we forgot to add the alarm zero. So when alarm zero goes off, we want to reset both left and right. Okay, on to zero. Zero. Let's try that again. I feel like I should have some music in the background or something. Just to make it more exciting. Alright, so I'll hit right, I let go, hit it again, and I'm not running because I'm not hitting the button fast enough. So I'm gonna try to double tap now. And there it goes. Into the running state. Cool, works. I think uh let's see. I'm gonna end this video pretty soon. We still have a couple more things to do. So let's go back to our control. And no, actually, go back to your object character, go to your step event, movement, go down to your cases, your states, go back to run. So when we're in the run state, let's make them run. All right, so we're going to say that our max speed equal to um, our run speed. Let me see if I have this variable here. Uh, max speed, max speed, okay, good. And I don't think I have run speed. Check. Uh, no, I don't have it. So I'm going to set run speed to, uh, let's see, uh, let's say 4. Here to our step event for our objects, and we're gonna say if we're facing right, so I'm gonna say facing, and then down here for facing left. So if we're facing right, how do we know if we're facing right? Well, for now, I'm gonna use the image X scale to figure out whether we're facing left or right. So if we're 
facing right. Want h excel to equal max speed. And want h speed to equal h excel. That's it. Now let's copy it for the left. This negative one. And we might have to change how we um, determine if we're facing left or right later on. This might cause problems, but for now that'll do. Uh, so this obviously is negative, and this is, this is that. Alright, let's test it out. So like I said, you know, I just for I use temporary code, and then once it becomes a problem, then I try to figure out a better way to um, accomplish the same goal. All right, so when I double tap, I should fucking run to the right really quick. And whoa, whoa, slow down, buddy. <laughs> All right, so I can't stop, and uh, I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. Let's see. Let's see. Whoa, there he goes, there he goes, and he's gone. Just ran off my screen. It's running on my desk right now. Um, all right, we'll leave it there. Next on the next video, we'll continue. We'll um, make it so that he stops, so that we could stop, and then uh, we all we're gonna do a lot of like shifting of code. We're gonna move some code around. So till next time, people, go to the Patreon page, download the project file, download the sprites, and I'll see you later.